and honored to be on the forefront of educating Black and Latino women on the things that cause cancer and the and the ways to prevent it. As a hairstylist for 30 plus years, it's been very important to me, even with my clientele, to be able to educate them on the products that they're using, whether it's for their face, their hands, their hair, but to educate them on the products that they're using that could be harmful to them. I am so honored to see this movement continue, and I am so honored to be a part of it. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Tia Tomlin Harris, and I'm the co-founder of My Cell Matters and a proud community advisory board member with Bench to Community. Breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related death amongst Black women. And when we look at statistics, only 5 to 10% of those diagnosed have a genetic mutation. This leads to the question of where is it coming from? As a Black woman who was diagnosed at a young age with an aggressive form of breast cancer and no family history, we need more research. We need to understand and know the impact that our hair care products and beauty products are having on our overall health. Black women top the charts in the beauty industry, and yet we have the highest body burden, the highest toxic load. This is why I've joined the Bench to Community Advisory Board. I believe in the critical work that they're doing. Not only are they answering the question, where is breast cancer? They're also given us the tools and the resources to help us to continue to be safe and to still feel great. Hey everyone, my name is Bing Turner. I am the principal over at the Heritage Wellness Collective. My most rewarding work that I've done to date is the work that I'm doing with the Cost of Beauty and the Bench to Community Health Project. We focus on breast cancer. Um, we do a lot of advocacy work. We do a lot of education work. Uh, it's, work is very important, it's rewarding. I live in a community of women. Um, I work with my wife, I have a mother, I have a sister. And this work is important because I want us to live. I want us to live healthier lives. I want us to live uh, more educated uh, and more informed. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of this project. And I'm looking forward to many more opportunities to serve. Hi, my name is Maggie Hawkins. I am a lecturer in public health at Cal State Fullerton and a DRPH student at Claremont Graduate University, and I'm a CAB board member. Uh, I care about this initiative. This initiative is important to me uh, because all women deserve safe and healthy products uh, of color disproportionately are being affected by breast cancer, and this project's looks at ways that they can make themselves safer and I'm proud to be part of it. Thank you. My name is Dede. I'll be serving as your MC for today's program. And again, I'm also one of the co-principal investigators for the Bench to Community Initiative. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to introduce one of my brothers from another mother and a different father, uh, Bing Turner. He is, again, co-founder of the Heritage Wellness Collective and one of our community advisory board members for the initiative. And we want to, again, officially welcome you to the 2022 Bench to Community Symposium. Symposium. So this symposium is really a part of uh, the BCI initiative where it's community led, it's based, um, rooted in community based participatory research ideologies, where we're bringing together scientists and community members to better understand the sociocultural perspectives of our hair, our identity for black women, and then the types of products that we use and how these products could potentially be increasing our risk for breast cancer specifically. Um, so I now welcome Welcome uh, being to uh, the platform to provide an overview of how this initiative came to be. Uh, we all have an origin story, so we are going to present that to you all uh, right at the top of the beginning, and then I will come back to kind of navigate us through the next portion of the symposium. Mr. Turner, floor hey. is Hello, everyone, and, and thank you for the introduction, uh, Dr. Tete. Um, so the Bench to Community Initiative, it builds on findings from a project entitled, It's the Cost of Beauty, Putting Black Women at Risk, which was funded by the California Breast Cancer Research Program. Looking for the next slide. Let's see, okay. The purpose of the project was to 
explore the social economic factors related to hair care product use, um, endocrine dis disrupting chemicals exposure knowledge, and associated breast cancer risk. Here's our research team led by Phyllis Clark, who was a community person, and Dora Mitchell, who was also a community person, and Dr. Susan Montgomery, who was the lead researcher at Mobile Linda University. The main findings from the project included perceptions of identity for black women, the lack of knowledge on endocrine disrupting chemicals and personal care products and breast cancer risk, and the resistance to selecting non-toxic products because everything causes cancer. The team also developed, developed a black identity hair product use and breast cancer scale, which provides a valid measure for assessing social cultural constructs associated with hair care product use and perceived breast cancer risk, risk for black women. So you, you will notice Bing and I have been a part of really doing this work for quite some time over the past eight years. That's the uh, eight years ago is when we met. We're both graduate from historically black colleges and universities right across the street from each other. Uh, Bing from Morehouse College, myself from Morehouse School of Medicine, Masters of Public Health program. And so after really meeting with the Cost of Beauty project, we did a number of community report outs. And after sharing those findings from that project at community forums, uh, questions related to the biological impacts of endocrine disrupting chemicals were some of the common themes that were coming up. Um, so if I can have Abigail share the, the slide four from that last presentation, that would be great so people can get an opportunity to see some of our team members. Um, so as a part of really Bench the Community came about because of all of the work that we did the past eight years and then about three, four years ago um, when continuously here in the community said, okay, what are, what are some of the biological impacts of EDCs? What's the products doing? What are these chemicals doing to our body? And then also we lacked a lot of representation from black breast cancer survivors. And um, so that led to the development of the Bench to Community Initiative. So this is where we are now. So 2019 up until present, we've had several different people be a part of this initiative in one way or another. And I just had a quick question for Bing as, as we're navigating through, He's, you've been kind of a part of this journey with me for a minute. Um, we were just kind of reminiscing about how we first <laughs> met uh, before we jumped on the symposium call. Right. So what's been like your proudest moments about being a part of these, both of these initiatives and why are you still here? Like you, you, you're you still here. I'm not saying yeah. you're still here. Well, <laughs> I'm here. I, I, well, I'm here as long as breast cancer is here. Um, but I think the, the, the main thing is that I, I feel honored, as I said in the video, that um, the, the project has longevity. Um, I think that's one of the, the greatest things about this project. I know when I signed on early on, I was a student as well as um, I actually worked for the university. So it was part of the job. And I think as researchers, some of the things that we're able to kind of pick and choose our projects if we have enough of them. I was just attracted to this project. I didn't realize that we would still be working on this eight years later, but then also Another proud moment that I have is that there's not too, too many men in this space. And so it's sort of like, I'm, I'm, I'm able to sort of go to men and talk to men to let them know like, these are some of the issues that we face as a community. And these are some of the issues that black women um, play, face as a whole. And so it, it allows me to have, um, being part of the, this group gives me access to the information gives me access to the community and I'm able to translate that, that information, the scientific, the scientific findings to other communities that I'm a part of, i.e. men, African-American men. So it's just been a really fun ride and uh, very informative. So thank you. Beautiful. Well, I appreciate you. Um, our team appreciates you for being continuously being a voice as a part of this process. So as we're, we're going to navigate now to uh, the, the next phase of the symposium, where we're going to